Ja. 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 <lacht> okay. Um, when I was thinking about interviewing you and I started to look through your website and the type of images you take, um, it appeared to me that you you're almost um, diaristic in your in your approach. It's like a diary. You're 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 wandering from place to place and taking pictures. But there's something about the work that isn't um, intimate. I meaning obviously it's intimate in terms of it's an expression of yourself. Mm -hmm. But it's not as though you're showing me your life, your intimate life. It's more like you're taking me on a journey somewhere. I wonder if you can say a bit more about it. Well, when I take pictures, I'm being grabbed by a moment or by, by something which interests me. Um, I'm ob observing this moment. and. If possible, I will try to be still or walk around the thing which interests me and just be there and experience what it is, why I stopped my walking or something. There, there's some instinct at work, something which, which well, I'm not thinking about actively about it. And it can, it can be a very fast thing, like a couple of seconds where this is done and then I continue. Or it's something which is, which is really taking my attention as long that I just really stay there and because the light is beautiful or, or for, for whatever reason and, and, and observe the thing what it is, or try to find out also what it is, what, what, yeah, what attracts me. But in that case, being in this artist in residence thing, that was a new experience for so me. So there was something very different in the intention? Yeah, well, um, yes, you were, yes. you were almost there to photograph, yeah. if that's what I understand. Yeah. And in the other situations, you're just going through your life and it accompanies you, and so therefore there's no pressure to take a photograph. Exactly. And that it's was just sort yeah. of next to you. Yes. And, but the, the problem with the pressure, there was a real problem. It, it took me some time to, I knew I had to get this pressure off because I can't do this thing, what I want to do and what I enjoy doing. When I have this pressure, I think, oh, I have to be this artist now and I have to, I have to produce something which yeah. is stunning or something. I mean, I obviously, I'm a greatest critic of my own work, I think. But um, I, I also want to take pictures mainly because I like to do, to do this and I enjoy this. And um, it in intensifies my experience, if I look, if I'm in a place like, for example, in this factory or anywhere else, um, and I look through the camera, it's it's intensifying what I experience. It's it's not um, the moment gets more intense. No, I completely understand what you're talking about, and I suppose what I hear is that you're talking about how the being taking a photograph and being in that experience takes you into a place in yourself where it heightens your senses and you become present in the moment rather than you become distracted by lots of other moments or lots other things that are happening. Oh yes, can I say this please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I would have used to, if I could say it in your words, I would have said it just like you said, yeah. yeah. If I've understood you correctly, the difference is that here there was a um, attachment to the outcome. Yes. Uh, that you had, that you were concerned or knew that there had to be some something that was produced or something that would be seen. Uh, it wasn't talked about what my what the end result should be or that they want something from me. But um, if I'm on my own, if 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 I'm my own motivation, if the motivation comes out of me, there is no one saying this is the project. Do it. If I create my own project, then it, I document. I'm not. A, it's not documentary photography. It's it's really very ego egotistic or so. It's, it's really just about me and about me, me experiencing a place um, using my senses. So you take, these, you take lots of photographs, almost like a collector, and you, ha and you, and you have them. And then how, what do you do next with them, well, I didn't, if you do at all? I, I, that's the thing. I'm not taking so many photographs normally. That's, um, all these pictures I took in Ljubljana were analog. Mm -hmm. So I took lots of slides, loads, like in five weeks. Um, 600 pictures or something. That, that's not that much. If it's all you do, walking around and take, you're taking pictures. Um, and everything paid for, I mean, the material and the developing, so well, why not, you know? <laughs> um, so could this be a slideshow? A slideshow, actually, I'm asked to, something is going to be projected in, in this, in this uh, art place where I did this artist in residency on, in autumn. Um, but I'm very inexperienced with things like, like preparing a series of pictures for an exhibition or something. That's something very new for me. Um, also, like all my years of photography, I never had lots of funds to, to print the pictures, to actually print them and touch them and, you know, hang them on a, in a real space or so. 
So everything, or nearly everything, happened on screen on a monitor somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, I like. I'm very slow with with photography. Like with the photography, I like to do. I'm very slow. This kind of stuff. Um, so I'm not walking around taking snaps like this. It takes me quite some time. And and printing this and it just takes some time and moving them around on a table like like now or so um, supports the my workflow I think or my way of thinking about these things or my experience with the, with taking these pictures. So I think I'm not there yet to answer your question with like this is what I would like to do or so. One of the things that really strikes me about the images is that they're very very still and that they they're almost like little. Yeah, they're almost like poems in themselves. They're, they're oh, that's very really nice. Thank you. That's a, a great compliment. Quiet. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm thinking it's very interesting that somehow you've chosen to go to somewhere derelict and run down to find space. And, and you could have been photographing nature and sea <laughs> and, you know, wide open desert and all sorts of things. But you actually, what, where you've gone to find space it seems to me like a, is, is a building. And it's and it's a, a building that's dilapidating, and it's a building that's decaying, and it's it's very curious because it's as though you're looking for space in somewhere that's um, lost. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted some pictures which I again I will look at in ten years and 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 still think yes, you know, mm. like that that kind of thing, and not like oh so, that was a nice holiday snap or it was a nice yeah. moment. I like so to do, do that too. Do you think the yes is about somehow that how the image talks to you? Is it something about looking at the image and its relationship to you? Is that the yes? Like something there? It, it's not the, the image. It's, uh, okay, my, my, main, my main thing is to experience that moment, whatever that moment is. Um, that's a priority in photography for, for me. So hence, it doesn't matter really what kind of camera I'm having, what kind of lens it is or so. Of course, I've chosen analog for certain reasons because I like the slowness of it. If I can choose, then I choose. But if I can't choose because I don't have a camera somewhere, I have my iPhone with me or what, and that phone or and take a picture, it's, it's also good. But if I can choose, I will. And um, then there is the moment of taking the actual picture, um, which just heightens my state and just, just expressing yeah. myself in that way. And then I go home, and then weeks after, I or days after, I have the developed slide, and then I see it on you know through this magnifying glass on the on the, on the light box or so. And that that's and if if the um, the emotion I had when I took that picture is kind of mirrored in what I'm seeing there, then I would call it a yes moment. Andrea, where where do you see your work moving to? Where do you see it going? Um, I don't consider these photographs as my, of course it's my work, my photographs, but the body of work or so this, this, this term, I don't know what to do with it. It's, it's my, it's the pictures I take, that's how, how I think about them. And um, how, well, I will take more pictures in the future and that's where they will go, my, me and my pictures, or the me and the way I see or. Um, so I will do what I always did, um, express myself with a camera. <laughs>